This pandemic reveals how the champions of capitalism are willing to risk human extinction to make about a dozen people <laughs> extremely wealthy. Capitalist <laughs> You want to respond to that? Human extinction versus... This is very interesting because there is a, I guess, far right wing is what you call it, a right wing Mm QAnon-ish conspiracy that the billionaire class of the world are all globalists who want to drastically reduce the population of the planet by... uh, uh, what's it called? What's the the um, Great Reset? Is this Great Reset? Not the Great stuff? Reset. The, uh, the you know they complain about like the 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 contrail the chemtrails. They say right. you know the chemtrails are poisons they put in the sky. They're trying to poison people because they want to drastically reduce the human population for some reason because they think robots are going to take over all the labor and they're going to you know it's easier to control a small planet or something something or other. Yeah, they're so, worried about the people rising up and killing them like Cody Johnson is talking about here. Right. So, but it's what's so crazy is because I've only ever heard this as being like a right wing conspiracy theory that the billionaire class is going to drastically reduce the population in order to maintain their wealth and power. And then Cody Johnson, a communist, is literally spouting this exact conspiracy theory in this video. That is like, crazy. Like, this is, we've reached peak, uh, peak horseshoe, horseshoe. Yeah. right now. Okay. And both sides are are promoting the same conspiracy theory. You've reached peak horseshoe. Do you think QAnon is retweeting Cody's video today? <laughs> no. I mean, his videos get mad views, and it's crazy. It is crazy. He's like, the only way you can be morally pure is if you subscribe to my Patreon. <laughs> Link in the description. Cheerleaders like to say that the market will be able to sort out what's best for humanity through the magic of competition. And any little gaps left over will be filled in by charity and philanthropy. So let's check in on one of the world's biggest philanthropists, Bill Gates. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation has been such a force for good in the world, evidence that rich people really do want to solve all of the world's problems. For example, they're donating money to help increase access to COVID vaccines in low-income countries. And in April 2020, Oxford University pledged to donate the rights to its COVID vaccine to any drug maker, making it open source. This would make the vaccine recipe available to all drug makers all over the world, vital in creating enough doses to inoculate the global population at low costs and in poorer countries as well. So, yeah, we did it. Capitalism works and worked. The rich did it. Cody's showdy Ovi over. Let's pack it in. We're packing it in. We're going to pack pack it in. There, there's another page here. So I'm just gonna... You're not laughing, Sitch. This is comedy. What are you doing? This is Why hilarious. You... I'm just like the laughter is Digesting all on the inside. Oh my god. I just, I muted my, I was laughing so hard. I had to mute myself because <laughs> I didn't want to just be so disruptive. I couldn't contain my laughter. Ha, 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 ha. I do notice that when these uh, certain uh, different drugs go into public domain, people mm-hmm. stop, ma- people usually stop making them because they're not <gasps> profitable anymore. Really? Yeah. So that is really? a huge, that is a huge problem. <laughs> Well, I don't know. There's a distribution issue here. I don't know. Like if you, if you say, listen, we're making this drug free to make, uh, you're not going to make any money off of making it. Like what is the, in, what is the incentive for them to actually produce the drug? Right. I mean, well, right I, now the government is paying them, right? I have a Basically, whole lot to say on this, but I wanted to let Cody finish his, uh, oh, okay. his spiel before we jump in. I'll let him again, continue we'll have ourselves. Then. Yes. I, I don't think it anything but it's going to give a quick quick little read over a covid it's okay so the good news is there's more shoddy and the bad news is there's bad news just two weeks after oxford pledged to donate the rights of its covid vaccine making it open source the bill melinda gates foundation convinced them to instead sign an exclusive deal with astrazeneca one of the pharmaceutical companies the bm foundation has invested in. This grants AstraZeneca sole rights to Oxford's COVID vaccine with no promise of making the vaccine affordable. Basically, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation held millions of potential grants and funding over Oxford's head in exchange for the deal, which benefits AstraZeneca and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation's investments and like 
not other people. But but why? Would so <laughs> it's, this is like so fucking stupid. This is so disgustingly uh, dishonest on his part because mm -hmm. he's first of all he's linking all these articles which obviously he never read. Mm -hmm. Oh because, really? I yeah. read all those fucking he, articles. Because first hell? of all, he says he says Bill and Melinda Gates, they went to Oxford University with a gun, a gun full of money. And they said, hey, Oxford University, you better fucking not, you better put a copyright on your motherfucking vaccine because if you don't, we're going to come in here and we're going to not give you all this money, right? This is the picture he's painting. It's yeah, not even, totally. Yeah, and that's not even remotely what happened if you actually read the fucking Bloomberg article. What it said was Oxford University is working on the vaccine and they said that they were going to offer non-exclusive royalty free license for anything that they come up with but as they're working on the vaccine the university realizes we might not have the money and the equipment to conduct the cl the clinical trials uh you mm -hmm. know to do this and then once we do it we wouldn't have the manufacturing capability to even create the vaccine and distribute it and all this other stuff so they're having right. an internal conundrum like, well, what are we going to do? We can't literally fund the thing that we're working on. Yeah. Enter Bill Gates, who says, <laughs> Bill Gates comes in. He doesn't tell them. He doesn't say, hey, Oxford, you better not give this away for free. Bill Gates says, hey, if you want to be serious about creating <laughs> a vaccine, you need to partner with a large distributor, large distributor who can make the fucking vaccine, run the clinical trials, and already has a pre-existing distributor network set up that can do all this shit for you so that all you have to do is make the fucking thing work and not worry yeah. about all the other bullshit. Totally. That's all he fucking said. And he comes in and says, hey, you should partner with someone. Because it'll fucking help get the vaccine out in time. You know, the most important fucking thing. And so that's what they did. They said, well, you know, <laughs> maybe it makes more sense that we actually use the pre-existing infrastructure of a company instead of just fucking saying, look, we're going to just come up with a bunch of fucking ideas and then we're going to throw them out in the public domain and hope somebody fucking else does the work, right? Do you think that's a good idea? You think that's going to get a fucking vaccine ready for the world? I, I'm missing no. something. I'm missing something here, Sitch, because all of that that infrastructure that's already in place now that runs on pixie dust, right? <laughs> how 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 does that exist? How how exactly does that is that existing structure of uh, set up? How does how does that exist? Because it's it's you have other the, comp well, here, here. There's so much. There's so much about this. It's so fucking stupid. First of all. Vaccines are incredibly not profitable for companies. Totally. To okay. Totally. This, this is the number one thing. And the reason for this is because a company wants to make a drug that is constantly right. going to be used again and again and again and again and right. again and again and again forever. Okay. Vaccine, vaccine, you're one and done. You're out the door. Right. Exactly. Vaccines, <laughs> like, use it once. Maybe you have to take a booster shot 20 fucking years later. It's not exactly, the, you know, the big money maker here. Right. Right. So, so you have, it's, this is what's so ridiculous about this whole thing. Bill Gates has talked about this issue and he says, and he's actually, you know, a lot of his, his work, his philanthropy work has been done to incentivize <clears throat> companies to make vaccines, either mm -hmm. through government grants or through donations and to help vaccinate uh, poor countries. Yeah. And so, and <laughs> so, so that's number one. Number two. And it's funny because one of the articles that uh, Cody quotes even brings this up when he's complaining about the, um, you know, why didn't they, you know, they, they're getting rid of uh, the open source. They're copywriting the, the technology or the vaccine. Right. Bill, Bill Gates was asked this question about this uh, by one of these newspapers. And he says, um, at this point, changing the rules won't make any additional vaccines because there's only a handful of manufacturers in the world with the necessary capacity to even make the vaccine, and they're all operating at 100% capacity. Wow. Okay. So to, re to reiterate, Bill Gates is saying this whole thing about making the vaccine open source is pointless because there's only so many f literal physical facilities that exist that can physically make the vaccine and they're all already doing it at 100% capacity. Wow. So unless you're going to use magic 
fucking pixie dust to create <laughs> a bunch of vaccine factories out of the ether in the middle of a global pandemic. This is a totally pointless, stupid fucking thing for Cody to be obsessing over. It's a non-issue. But wait a second. There was that one well, time it's, it's, that guy made the polio vaccine available <laughs> to the world. Sitch, come on. Consult your feelings. Remember it's, how cool that was. <laughs> it's even worse. Well, it's even worse than a non a non issue because what Cody's suggesting to make it open source would actually mean that the vaccine, as you said, would not get funding, would not get distribu a dis distribution from a big company, and it would basically just be floundering because no one would want to fucking do it. Yeah, totally. And, and, and it would require a government to basically do 100% of, of all the things, as opposed to what's happening right now, which is that governments are working in conjunction with companies that have all the pre-existing infrastructure required to make vaccines in the first fucking place. Yeah, they, they're they asking the companies basically just to drop everything that they're working on that right. is making money and do this other thing. I don't, yeah. like, don't you understand? I mean, he's constantly going on about $15 minimum wage and stuff like that. These people are working for a company and getting paid. Right. And yeah. then it, it's even, it's even worse because AstraZeneca and many of these, not all of the vaccine companies, but AstraZeneca, yes, who's what he's talking about. And mm. other companies have promised and are doing right now are selling the vaccine at cost. Yes. AstraZeneca is yeah. not, they said until the pandemic is over, and they're banking on whatever technology is coming from this going to benefit them in the future. They're saying until the pandemic is over, they're selling whatever the vaccine costs at whatever it costs to make. They're not making, they're making zero profit from the vaccine mm. right now. And, and wow. other companies are doing this. So it completely defeats the entire argument about it having to be open source because the private companies are literally doing the thing he wants. Yeah. Sell, selling it at cost, just the cost of production. So those people can get paid in their jobs. Yes. <laughs> yes. According to the WHO's approved, approved list of van, uh, vaccine manufacturers, there's only 43 companies and they're all doing it already. They're all making vaccines at capacity already. Wow. And it said it would take years. The same article he's linking says it would take years to set up new factories to meet those regulations. Yeah. I'm amazed at how well we're doing in this pandemic. I can't imagine I what we did in the past. Like these these 200 year pandemics hit like clockwork, and it seems like in the past they had nothing. <laughs> they had absolutely nothing. We've had a vaccine in a year. 